Hello, welcome to uh, screencast number five on the endocrine system, starring the pancreas. All right, so the pancreas is this mushy looking, chewed up gum looking thing that's located in your abdomen, right kind of inferior to your stomach and in the mesentery of your small intestine, which is kind of like a sheet of uh, connective tissue. So uh, it is both endocrine and exocrine. The exocrine function will cover in uh, more detail on digestive system, but just keep in mind, exocrine means it secretes via ducts, right? So it's going to secrete those ducts, secrete uh, pancreatic enzymes into the uh, small intestine. Uh, the endocrine function is uh, well known. You guys have heard of insulin for sure, but it also produces an enzyme called glucagon. So uh, the pancreas conveniently produces two hormones that are antagonists to each other. Glucagon, uh, you can look at this cheesy thing I've got there. Uh, if your glucose is gone, get glucagon. So if you have low blood sugar, uh, you'll produce and release glucagon, which then encourages these things right here. Glycogenolysis. Now I'll break that one down for you. Glycogen is that uh, polysaccharide that when you break it down or lyse it, it will become glucose. So if you have glycogen and you break it down, glycogen olysis. So glycogen breakdown. Uh, you'll you'll make more glucose. Gluconeogenesis I already covered. Gluco sugar neo new genesis making. So you can make new sugars out of other stuff. And you also uh, this enzyme also sorry uh, this hormone also encourages uh, glucose release from the liver. Insulin's the opposite, and it's not as catchy. But insulin puts glucose in organs. If you're gonna uh, put it into organs, you have to take it from somewhere. So that's your blood. Um, if you want to just dumb it down glucagon raises blood sugar levels insulin lowers blood sugar levels a uh, couple of uh, processes here glycogenesis right and so that's the genesis this is a contracted contraction word glycogen genesis and then this one is glycolysis which is breakdown of sugar so glycogenesis turns sugar into glycogen glycolysis breaks down sugar lipogenesis makes fats, right? So you make those out of, you can make them out of sugar. So all three of these processes are going to remove uh, excess blood sugar from your bloodstream. Now a well-known disorder associated with these is diabetes uh, mellitus, which is um, either going to be type 1 or type 2. Type 1 is when you have, and they used to call it juvenile diabetes or early onset of diabetes, it's an autoimmune disorder that causes your uh, immune system to uh, attack the cells that make insulin. And those are beta cells. You can see that over here. You don't have to recognize them in lab, by the way. You're not going to have to be able to tell the difference between them, but you do have to know which ones do what. So beta cells uh, make insulin. And if you attack them, you don't have any insulin. If you don't have any insulin, your blood sugar is too high, and that's going to cause kidney problems and some other damage. Type 2 is uh, later onset generally. It's got a genetic component and a lifestyle component. So if you come from uh, a background that has a lot of diabetes uh, in its sort of bloodline, you're going to be more prone to getting diabetes as you get older. Uh, obesity and diet and uh, lack of exercise and some other things can also encourage that. Um, but the type 2 diabetes doesn't have anything to do with your ability to make it. It just means you become insensitive to it. So you may you actually increase your, your output of, of insulin, but the cells that respond to it to reduce blood sugar level uh, become less and less sensitive. Okay.